All right, let's do the 12 bar. We started out with a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter to get the body out of the way. Then we use also use a 10 millimeter to get the exhaust off and a 12 millimeter T-handle to pull the exhaust out of the way. Then we have 5 millimeter Allen for the front bolts, with a 12 millimeter wrench for the rear bolts, a pair of dikes, and a screwdriver. 12 bar clamps. You got your down tubes, scrape plate, scrape plate bolts and washers, exhaust spacers, and the 12 bar. Alright, we got the body off the bike. Now we just need to pull out the exhaust bolt. So we're going to have to space that out and uh, in order to get this 12 bar on. I'm also going to take uh, the front flange nuts off and just remove the exhaust completely out of the way. Two 10 millimeter nuts and the exhaust will drop right out. So now that's out of our way. We also need to remove the CDI box mount. It just pulls right out. Get that out of the way. Alright, now I'm going to throw the rear clamps on. And to do this, I'm going to use a screwdriver and just push it in to spread it open. Make it a little easier to slide on. There's a threaded end and a drilled end. I want the drilled end to face inside so I have my bolt heads on the inside. It makes it easier to reach if you want to remove it if you're out on the trails or the skate parks. So now that i got it spread open, you just slide it just a little bit past the bend and remove the screwdriver. Slide this one just a little bit past the bend. Same thing. Got some place ready to go. Next up, the down tubes. Alright, so I'm going to slide the down tube through the rear clamp. Make sure the rear clamp is right at the bend. And the down tube should be flush with the end of the rear clamp. Then install the front bracket. We've got the down tubes mounted to the frame. All the brackets are snugged up. Make sure you have clearance between the shock and the 12 bar bracket so they're not going to hit. I got plenty of room on this one. Now, ready to install the actual scrape plate. Throw my 12 millimeter bolts through. Get them ready, so all I have to do is put it in and tighten it. Time to slide in the 12 bar. Right in. I'm just going to throw the body on real quick to make an adjustment. Now I'm going to slide it in until it's just about 5 inches off the rear fender. So right in there, work. That's about 5 inches, give or take a little bit. Now, it's got a little bit of adjustment, it does rotate, so I need to make sure it's lined up nice and straight between the stunt pegs. So I'm going to snug it up a little bit so it's a little bit sticky, so I can get it in position, and then reach down and tighten it. Bolt first, 12 millimeter, then I'm going to tighten the bottom bolt after. Nice and, nice and tight. There we go. Then it's time to install the scrape plate onto the 12 bar. There you go. All right get the CDI mount back in, I have to slightly trim it to 
clear the front brackets. So I'm just going to take some dikes and just knock off this front edge. Nice little notch for the bracket. So I just took the dikes and trimmed out some room to make room for the bracket. That's probably the trickiest part of the install is to get that set up. The Allen's the front mounts will be installed. millimeter nuts here. So because of the 12 bar bracket I need to space it out a little bit. So all pipe all the bikes are different. This one I'm gonna go with three washers and see how it works. Looks like we're good to go. Some representation with the 50 stunt stickers. Boom. Now this guy's officially been stunned.